President Biden kicks off a week-long trip around the world today at the U.N. Climate Summit in Egypt. He's making a quick stop before meeting with the Chinese president at the G20 Summit. Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us live near Tel Aviv with What's Ahead. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, everyone. President Biden begins a three-country tour of Egypt, Cambodia, and Indonesia as he pivots to foreign policy after his party's surprising, better-than-expected showing in the midterms. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi leading a delegation of Democrats. She's already in Sharm el-Sheikh, the Egyptian resort city on the Red Sea. The Inflation Reduction Act passed in August by Democrats contains $369 billion in investments in technology to try to reduce methane emissions and greenhouse gases. Amid tensions in U.S.-China relations exacerbated by her own recent trip to Taiwan, Pelosi says both countries, the U.S. and China, need to cooperate better on climate issues. But I do believe that we should be working with the China. I mean, I take second place to no one in concern about their human rights violations, their trade violations, their proliferation of weapons, mass destruction over time. But I do believe that we must work with them on climate. Pelosi also warned world leaders not to use the energy crisis in Europe due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine as an excuse to abandon climate policy. The Biden-Pelosi visit comes as Republicans are poised to take control of the House and possibly the Senate. Here's President Biden before leaving the White House Thursday night. A reporter asked about a statement by House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy that the president congratulated McCarthy on winning a majority. No, I congratulated him. I said, and if you win the majority, congratulations. But congratulations so far, you've made the game. Abraham Lincoln said public sentiment is everything. With it, you can accomplish almost anything. Without it, practically nothing. And I think what you saw in this election was young people voting on this subject that took everyone by surprise. Not us, but took the so-called experts. Although ranking low overall on issues that matter most to voters, Pelosi believes climate helped the Democrats perform better than expected in the midterms. President Biden is affirming his commitment today before Monday's meeting with Xi Jinping at the G20 in Indonesia. Allison, it's President Biden's first, uh, excuse me, first face-to-face -face with China's president since uh, Biden entered the Oval Office. Yeah, Allison, we'll be waiting to you. see what happens with that. Daniel Cohen, thank you so yeah. much. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.